Hey, what's up fellas, how we doing? Matt Antonelli here, answering your questions. Today's question is about the dugout. Um, you know, in the major leagues and minor leagues, do players cheer for their teammates while they're hitting or pitching? Uh, also, what's available in the dugout as far as drinks and food? You always see stuff kind of in the background of major league dugouts. You know, what is in there? What, what exactly do players have? Um, and so we're gonna answer all those questions today. Before we start, um, I want you guys to check out the description box below. We have a deal going on with Plate Crate, uh, where if you guys go down and click the link below, you'll be able to get 50% off your first Plate Crate. I know a lot of you guys know what Plate Crate is. If you don't, definitely check out that link and check it out. Um, okay, so let's get into the question. First, do players cheer at the major league level and the minor league level for hitters and pitchers? Um, yes, uh, to a degree, okay? so. You know, it's not going to be like what you probably are used to at like Little League and some of the town ball games and even some travel ball stuff. You know, it's not like, hey, Johnny, here we go. Johnny, come on, kid. Come on, kid. Here we go. Hey, swing that bat. Hey, Johnny, come on, Johnny. Come on, Johnny. Like, you're not going to hear that, right? Like, that's not going to happen at the major league level. You're not going to, um, you know, you're not going to get guys overly vocal. Uh, you might get one or two guys that's not, not to that degree, but they're at least cheering on a little bit more. But most of the stuff is going to be, you know, most of the players, I think, are sitting there, they're observing the game, they're kind of studying the game. And so if you guys go back to the video I made about a month or so ago on what players are looking for in the dugout um, to give them a little bit of an advantage, some of the preparation that they're doing, a lot of players mostly, I think, are doing that type of stuff. Now, there's going to be some stuff like, you know, if Johnny's up there, you know, you're going to get a guy, hey, come on, Johnny, here we go, like something like that. But it's not going to be like rah, rah, like, um, you know, like you might see at a little bit of a lower level. Um, you're, you're not really going to get it. Somebody's going to look at you and say, hey, shut up. <laughs> like, uh, just watch the game. So, you know, there's a little bit, like I said, but nothing, nothing over the top, nothing crazy. Most players are paying attention to the game. Um, you know, starting to come up with a game plan well, what they're going to do, whether they're a pitcher and they're watching the game or if they're a hitter, they're studying the pitcher and figuring out, okay, how's this guy attacking guys and what's my approach going to be um, and stuff like that. As far as the food and drinks that are available, it really depends on the level you're at and also where you're playing at. So um, if you're playing at a decently high level in the minor leagues or in the major leagues, you're going to have a lot of stuff, stuff available to you. So typically there's always going to be... Um, Gatorade or Powerade, depending um, on the bench. Okay, and so um, that's actually a big part of the game for a lot of players. Like they'll come down, and usually most trainers that fill up the Gatorade buckets are uh, going to change up the flavors. And so, like one of the things, a lot of guys will come out and they'll like first thing they'll do is they'll go over and they'll test it and see like, oh, grape today. Like I hate grape, or you know whatever. Um, and also a lot of guys will see like how the mixture is. So sometimes you get like, you'll play certain places where it's like a really, really good mixture where um, it's just perfect. It's just the right amount of water and the right amount of Gatorade or Powerade that's been mixed in there. Um, because they're, you know, it's not like they're just getting little bottles of Gatorade and Powerade and just pouring it in. They're, put, they're filling it up with water and then they're putting in a couple scoops of the mix depending on how much water they have. And so some guys make really, really strong where you like, it's all sugar, you taste it and it just tastes terrible. Some guys don't put enough so it tastes like watered down you know it just doesn't taste good at all and then you have some that are really really good about it so you're always going to have that available to you you're also going to have usually a jug of water right um and i'd say water is pretty much the same at most days sometimes you get a little bit better water than other places um the other thing you'll have a lot of times if it's really hot out is you'll have a bucket that's filled with um, um towels that are dumped in ice water with um, some ammonia in it and so um you know, if you see the guys like sniffing the little um, like ammonia tab thingies, they'll dump those in the water and it just kind of refreshes you a little bit. There's nothing better than when it's like a hundred degree day and you take one of those after an inning, you kind of rinse it out a little bit and you just put it over your head and you just, you just breathe in deeply. It really um, refreshes you. And, you know, a lot of guys will use that when it gets summertime and it gets really, really hot as a way to... Um, you know, just feel better, feel a little bit better when it's really, really hot out. Um, let's talk about some of the food options. So typically, again, this is always gonna change again, depending on the team, but there's usually some type of protein bar out there, whether, you know, a lot of times it was Gatorade bars, it could be any company, but a lot of times there was a lot of Gatorade stuff, at least when I played. So there'd be a bunch of Gatorade bars, a bunch of different flavors. Um, later in my career, 
they were coming out with um, these like little Gatorade, I, I don't even know what you call them. They were like these little like chewy bite things and they were like these little squares. You guys probably have seen them. They're probably more popular now than when they were when I was playing. It was kind of more towards the end of my career. Um, and so you'd have those options. You're also going to have a bunch of buckets of, of um, bubble gum. So, you know, there's going to be tons of different bubble gum. There's going to be tons of different seed options. Again, you play in the major leagues. There's like every flavor of seeds that you could ever imagine are just lined up all the way down uh, the dugout. And so there's tons of stuff for you to kind of eat. If you're not playing that day or if you're a pitcher, um, it's really easy to, to probably take in more calories than you really wanted to. Um, the other thing with food is a lot of times in the bullpen, at least when I was with the Padres and, and a bunch of teams, um, they would usually have the young guys, the rookies, would be responsible for going into the, uh, into the clubhouse and getting a bag full of like all different kinds of candies, filling up the bag and bringing that down to the guys in the bullpen. And so um, they would have a bag basically the entire game just going through, um, you know, whether it's like airheads and sour patch kids and starbursts and skittles and i don't know every candy that you've probably heard of guys would be responsible for throwing those all in a bag and bringing them out there and then passing them out to all the other guys in the bullpen so that's one thing that they that the pitchers will like to do at least a lot of the spots that i was with um other things that you can get typically not on the dugout or in the dugout but just you know just inside the clubhouse a lot of times are like energy drinks and so when i was playing again i don't know what's out nowadays but when I was playing, um, you know, Red Bulls, Monsters, Five Hour Energy was big for a couple of years. And so a lot of times that stuff's available. You just have to be careful with that stuff. Like I remember um, one year I tried a Red Bull. Uh, you know, it gets late in the season. You start getting a little bit tired. You know, you're playing 100 plus games. And so, you know, I would drink a Red Bull before the game. And then, you know, a few weeks later, I drink a Red Bull before the game and I drink a Red Bull in like the third inning. And then a few weeks later, it's like, oh, I got to drink a Red Bull before the game and in the third inning. And then I need one in the seventh inning because, you know, and so I think you just have to be careful with that stuff that you don't end up needing to drink a ton of it to, uh, to feel like you are ready to go for the game. Um, so you have all of those options also. Um, a lot of times you'll see players drinking they'll have uh, like water bottles. A lot of times you'll see red stuff in there or you see different colored drinks. A lot of people are like, what's in those drinks? Well, it could be a bunch of different things. Some players, it could just be some type of Gatorade or Powerade. Some players uh, like to drink like pre-workout uh, drinks. And so, you know, just to give them, like I said, they almost use it as like a, uh, like a Red Bull or a five hour energy where they just put a little bit of that in their water bottle cup or water bottle and you know just something to keep their energy up I guess throughout the game I never really tried any of that stuff or used it but I know some players uh, will use that stuff so usually it's like a supplement some type of supplement um, and so I know some players will, will use that stuff um, so that's kind of in a nutshell I guess most of the stuff that's available to players now like I said every team is going to be different so you may see different things at different levels um, or different teams usually the you know by far the best stuff is at the major league level That's when you're gonna have you know everything that you would ever want and if it's not there You can probably ask for it and get it um, At the minor league levels triple-a you're gonna get the most stuff and then usually as you go down the levels You get a little bit less if you're in short season a ball or low a ball or even you know high a ball You're probably not gonna get a whole lot of stuff. You, sometimes you're not gonna have Gatorade You may just have some waters or something and you know you just got to deal with that. What they always would tell you at the lower minor league levels, anytime you ask for something, whether it's food or travel or anything, if you ask somebody for something, they're going to say, if you don't like it, play better. That's like uh, my favorite, well, I don't know if it's my favorite saying, but that's like the biggest saying in the minor leagues. If you don't like it, play better. Um, and so you just got to deal with it until you get to the major leagues and you can get whatever you want. So hopefully this helped you guys out. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Be sure to check out our Instagram page, Anthony Baseball, Twitter feed, Man It's Only Nine. We're posting videos all the time for you guys. Share this video with all your friends also. I'd appreciate that. Give us a thumbs up. Um, check out the description box below where I said we have the 50% off for Plate Crate. And also we have a bunch of books, uh, links to books that I've been reading and also uh, training tools we use with all of our players. I think you guys will enjoy those. Um, we also check out our website, AnthonyBaseball.com, um, where you can find out how to work with our teams and our staff. And that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much again for watching, and we'll talk to you later.